does hope and what does the future look like for us as women of color? What is going to happen for us? When is our change going to come? We've been singing about it. We've been talking about it. Grandma been praying about it. Mama is believing it for us. But when is that going to happen? Like, how do we have faith to hold on that change is going to happen and that we can have seats at the table, we can find the tools and the resource to build our own table, we can find some chairs, fold them up, roll them up, however we can do it. How do we do that? You just do it. I mean, literally. When I started, there were four of us in the room. There wasn't anybody to mentor me. Do you understand? There were some older than me in ministry, but they didn't have any more than I had. But today, this is just a small portion, like my grandma would say. But look how many women are in the room just for this rise together. And so, we have to keep moving. We have to keep believing. We have to keep advocating. We have to keep putting ourselves in position. Hillary Clinton didn't win. Warren didn't win. But one, Stacey Abrams didn't win. But one day, one of us will win. But not if we're not on the ballot. We get ordained because we continue to push like Reverend Void did. Mm -hmm. She did her part, but God did his mm -hmm. or hers mm -hmm. and moved some things. Mm -hmm. And it happens because we continue to put ourselves in position. Mm -hmm. Just show up. All right now. Get the degree. Make application. Get the experience. I didn't start at the top, y'all. Mm -hmm. I started at the bottom. The mm -hmm. In prison. Mm -hmm. Okay? Everybody want to go to the pulpit. Right. But you got to start in the pit. That's right. That's right. Working, serving. You, you're saying to yourself, we still got to do that? Yeah. Isn't that what Jesus said? <laughs> she who would be greatest must become servant. That's right. So I mean, I am not suggesting servitude. <laughs> you don't still have to be the secretary for the boys club. No, I'm not suggesting that. But I am suggesting that there is a path that we have to continue mm -hmm. to be on and work it. Mm -hmm. And at some point, there will come a breakthrough. That's, I believe that with all of my heart. Mm -hmm. And I think we just have to keep rising together. Nobody get ahead of the other. Because, and if you do get ahead, then you have to reach back and bring your sister with you. It can happen for us. It really can. Because you're the testimony. I wish I could take you back to when it was just a few of us in the room. And you'd be amazed. How did we make it? I think the sad reality for me is that you all are still going through what we went through. That's what makes me sad. That you're still having to, that, you know, Reverend Void had to go through what she did. Forty years later, 
and that our, both our dads, Minister Elizabeth, did I call your name right? I'm, I, I yeah. called hers wrong before, Elizabeth, good. Um, that both our dads questioned why we should even be considering this. I want to say what I said earlier. Those things happened to prepare us for what we couldn't handle back then. It was harsh. We went through hell. But when you get tested by fire, you come forth as pure gold. And there is a point at which you can no longer be denied.